have already shuffled. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Leo, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this Seven of Pentacles. And it's with the Six of Pentacles. Now, the Seven of Pentacles... It's, it's often a card about returns on investments. Now, this can be literal. Maybe a bank account returning money to you. Or figuratively, such as investments of time, energy, and effort that you put into a relationship. The Seven of Pentacles. It can be about reaping what you have sown. This is positive. So, you should be feeling more secure than you have in a while. And things will be moving along really well. And you'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a good cause. But you might have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, situations that you're already involved with. Or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life so you have to choose wisely now it's with the six of pinnacles which is often a sign of a turn for the better especially when it comes to money because when you hear the word pinnacles in the tarot that indicates money cash coins finance income this Six of Pentacles, it's one of the more positive pinnacles in the tarot. It speaks of equality, fairness, and the nature of life. So when this card appears, you're likely to be heading into a positive cycle. Not just a positive day or a positive time, but a whole complete cycle. The Six of Pentacles. It's often a card about generosity, meaning that you're about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So share what you have because there's always someone who needs it. So Leo, your recent past energy between you and your person, Seven of Pentacles, clarified by the Six of Pentacles. So what I'm getting is that you you were with someone who you really wanted the connection to make it. You put in a lot of energy and effort. That's what she's doing this with the Seven of Pentacles. This is a card above the word pass. She wakes up every morning. She takes care of this plant. And before she goes to bed, she takes care of it. Make sure it doesn't need anything. Um, the soil is healthy, nourished. And when she got this plant, it was just a little, tiny, teeny little baby. She could hold it in the palm of her hand. And now look at it. It's about 10 feet tall. The leaves are all rich in color. Healthy, dark green leaves. So, yeah, you really wanted something to make it. You wanted this connection to grow. And because it's clarified with the Six of Pentacles, you probably... Yeah, I'm kidding. For a lot of you, you went above and beyond and you did you did um, things like probably you did a lot of nice things for your person because the Six of Pentacles, like I said, it can be a card about generosity. So you probably started to do nice things for your person, maybe buy them nice gifts or spend money on them because the Six of Pentacles, like I said, Pentacles is money, and this is about generosity. So, yeah, the connection, you really, really wanted it to grow and make it. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Well, we got this Ace of Wands, and it's with a tower. Now, the Ace of Wands, it can indicate new beginnings. They're positive new beginnings. The wand 
one's could be in the area or it can be in the realm of accomplishments and are often related to work or career or family or romance and if you're having a difficult time now just know that things are about to get better very soon this card it depicts being upbeat optimistic hopeful about the future with a really really good cause so you're likely to be feeling really energetic positive or you'll be feeling that way soon the ace also tells you that now is a good time to start something new now it's with the tower card now with this card you could be trying to hold too tightly to the status quo which could be a disaster so it's important to roll with the changes it could be that some people situations that you have counted on as being there for you may no longer be there in quite the same way as they once were now this change or this you know this we'll put it this way this doesn't have to be drastic because we all know that change it's the nature of life and if we try to prevent it it could be like trying to roll upstream without a paddle and if you've been building some castles in the air this may be the time that some of them come crashing down and that's only a problem if you let it be because you'll be able to replace them with some more realistic reachable goals and dreams if some fantasies fall apart so Leo the message that I'm getting coming up for you and your person ace of wands clarified by this tower so what I'm what I'm getting is that yeah like I said I don't know if you and your person is if there's some type of conflict that's coming up or a fight or a disagreement but it looks like two of you could have been working on something for 2021 toward working on or planning something for the new year or maybe even the holidays the end of this year but it's just showing that whatever type of new plans that you two were trying to come up with or maybe your person had some new ideas or something new because the Ace of Wands is about a new beginning. You could have wanted a new, fresh start with your person. With something. Maybe you wanted the connection to undergo a, some type of new beginning. Or some type of new beginning. Some, something new was trying to um, be, input, be inputted by you or your person. I don't know what it is. Something new. But it, it looks like it's it could be causing a problem. And it looks like it it makes the connection I hate to say this but it makes it makes the connection crumble crumble, fall down, fall apart. Yeah. It looks like it just Yeah, it comes crashing down. But someone wanted something new to happen and it just didn't it it made it go in the opposite direction. But anyway, let's get off of that. Let's see let's see if we get some more clarity and see what the challenge is. Okay, so we got this eight of pinnacles. And it's with the Three of Swords. Okay, so the Eight of Pentacles, it points to necessary efforts. You could have a lot on your plate that you need to accomplish. Dedication to the task is important, but if you let it work for its own sake, it can be counterproductive. So, be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance because no one can or should work all the time. Now the Eight of Pentacles, it does indicate a very hard work period. And this doesn't have to be it does not have to be negative, but you do have to be prepared for it. 
Now the Seven of Pentacles is with the is with the Three of Swords. Now the Three of Swords with this card, there's an element of sorrow that's undeniable. But when this card appears, what's on the other side of the sorrow? It can be enhanced understanding and joy. So allow yourself to fully experience any sadness that comes up so that you can move past it. Now this card, it can point to maybe a very deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. Because if you deny any pain, it will not make it go away. So allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up so you can move past it. But don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow. For long periods of time however you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough and others will not be able to do this for you so your challenge leo eight of pentacles clarified by this three of swords so yeah like i said you and your person could be working on some type of new beginning but it's, it's showing that if it's not going to happen for some of you. It's showing it just falls apart. And it put it this way, it's showing whatever new beginning this was, it's showing that it was a bad idea. I don't know who came up with it. But the tower card is saying it's a bad idea. It's going to fall, fall apart. Maybe just a new idea falls apart. Not the connection. But this challenge is saying that you or your person is really hurt. That this new beginning or new idea for the two of you falls apart. Somebody's really, really hurt. The Three of Swords is ugly. Very ugly. Yeah. So you or your person could start to close off, close themselves off. You could start to shut your person off from you, or they could start to shut themselves off from you. Because there's hurt with the Three of Swords, yeah. Shutting each other out, closing yourself off, relationship difficulty. That's what you get with the Three of Swords. Yeah, so this tower moment is causing a lot of um, relationship difficulties and sadness. I don't know what it what it is. I wish I could tell you what it was. Some I don't know what was new. What what are you guys planning? That's new. Some type of somebody talked about a new idea they wanted to do, and it turned out to be a bad idea. But anyway, somebody's hurt. But then the good thing is that with the Eight of Pentacles here, uh, you realize, your person realized that you just have to rebuild. Or you, you have to just try again or come up with a new, another, another idea. Forget that new beginning. Forget that new idea that you want it to happen. It's showing that you need to come up with something else. And it looks like that's what the two of you are doing. But it requires a lot of work. Because this Eight of Pentacles is a, it's a hard work period. Yeah, it's just working overtime. That's what this man is doing. The Eight of Pentacles is the card above the word challenge. Yeah, he works from morning till night. Rain, sleet, snow or a storm like right now if you can put your screen on full you can see how big those raindrops are yeah so you two you two will have to start again because the tower knocked your plans on the ground I maybe mean, for some of you it knocked the connection on the ground but you both want this to work so you're going into overtime Trying to rebuild whatever fell apart. Now, the tower is not always bad. 
because the power of this current, you become enlightened by whatever fell apart. So now you, you're building something different, you know, because you know what not to do before from the tower moment. So, yeah, the challenge is that there's a lot of work coming up that you and your person has to do because you two had a tower moment. Okay, so that's the challenge. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. We got this two of pentacles and the four of wands. Now, the two of pentacles, it can be about two main issues. That front in your mind, you may need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Multitasking is not your friend when you get the two of pentacles. You may need to cut down on things that you're doing in order to focus on just two main priorities. It could be that your financial situation needs to be more balanced. So be sure you're paying attention there. Now to the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands, it often indicates that you may be attending a special event. One, will, one that will be made one that will be way more fun than you anticipate. So go, you'll have a good time. If you have a business, it's likely to be going really well. You'll be proud of yourself and others will be proud of you. Although this is a very positive card in the reading, it does show there could be a need to keep your wits about you that although, although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun, but just know you're probably still in a building up phase and now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. Now this card can sometimes mean that you could be thinking about moving, changing your place of residence. Yeah, the Four of Wands is beautiful. I'm, I'm glad this came out for the outcome. Yeah, Two of Pentacles clarified by the Four of Wands. So like I said, uh, Leo, um, you and your person, you got a heavy workload coming up, trying to rebuild whatever fell apart. And um, with the outcome, Two of Pentacles is, it's, it's about multitasking, doing this, doing that. You could, so for some of you, you live long distance from your person. So you have to be there and then you have to be here. Just to get things right back on track. Because you guys were knocked off. You were knocked off of your, tra your tracks. You were knocked off. You were blown off balance from this tower moment. So now you're trying to, you're to a pinnacle stage. Whereas you're. You're trying to balance things out, but you're kind of here and you're there. Your person is way over there, or you're trying to do this, and you're the and your person is trying to do that. So a lot of juggling here, just to get things back on track. Multitasking, several tasks, back and forth. Yeah, and because it's with the Four of Wands, I love it. It's, it's showing that things work out better than they were before. Four of Wands is beautiful. 11-11. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see those wands. Those are four wands. Um, yeah, Four of Wands is a marriage and commitment card. So, when this card comes up regarding love and relationships, it indicates that the relationship is about to become a whole lot more committed up to and including possible marriage. Yeah, so this is the marriage and commitment card, so things turn around for the better. And the connection could possibly go to the next level. Or, like I said, hey, marriage and commitment, that's, that's the four of wands. 
So it looks like things will work out for you, but there's, there's, a, there's a really um, difficult period here for you and your person coming up. But just know that they will, things will work out. Nobody's walking away. Um, nobody's giving up in this reading. There's a tower moment, but you guys realize that you just have to rebuild and then take it from there. And it looks like that's what uh, the two of you are planning and do. So that is the reading that I have for you, Leo. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Leo, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. Come back and join me for the next Leo reading just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next one will. Also keep in mind the roles can be switched. Yes they can. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend, a family member, or a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates because these are, these are just general readings. They're not personal readings. So Leo, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope, I hope that you have a great day. I wish you all of you happy holidays. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.